Hi guys, thanks for clicking on the video. Now, those of you who may have watched one of my recent videos when I was attempting to clean the bike using a new battery powered pressure washer that I'd bought, will know that it didn't actually go to plan. The pressure washer I bought was a, a, a sort of non-famous brand, uh, whatever you call it, from Amazon. Uh, it got good reviews, but I just couldn't get it to work at all, so back it went. So, undaunted by that, and I still like the idea because I live in a flat, so I don't have access to, to power outside or a, a mains water supply, um, I've decided to go for a different kind of battery pressure washer, and it's probably the one I should have bought in the first place. So let me show you that. So this is the Works HydraShot, and this is probably the best known brand of uh, battery powered pressure washer. That, and I say, probably the one I should have got in the first place, but me being me was scrimping and scraping a bit. Anyway, this was £109 from Amazon, that included delivery, which, you know, is okay. Um, and it looks like a pretty substantial piece of kit. But then of course, so did the other one. So there's your, your main gun. You've got your lance, your adapter for the end with different types of spray, your hose, and over here, charging away is the works battery. Now, if you want, I don't know how long this is gonna last. I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure it's gonna last long enough for me to clean a bike, but these are actually only about 20, 25 quid to buy. Um, and you can get knockoff ones that fit the charger as well. So if you wanted a couple of batteries, it's, it's not a expensive addition. So I'm gonna let this battery charge and then we'll take it down. We'll do what we did before, give the bike a good um, clean down, uh, going over with the, uh, the muck off soap and things. And then we shall put this together and see if this one actually works. One thing I forgot to show you is this. This is a genuine works accessory, it costs about seven pound. And what it does, this goes on to here, and it allows you to put this hose into a two liter Coke bottle or, or any other kind of plastic bottle. So it increases the portability of the device. You know, you don't have to have the, you know, the bucket and the long lead. You can actually just plug it into a, into a Coke bottle full of water and it will work perfectly well. Now I don't actually have a Coke bottle at the moment handy to test it with, but I'll, get, I'll do a quick video of that when I do. But I just thought that was such a neat idea. And for an extra seven pound, I thought, well, I'm gonna have that and give that a try. Because at the end of the day, it's only a scooter I'm cleaning. It's not a car or a, you know, some sort of big item. And you know, a, a two litre bottle of water might just do it. You never know. So as you can see, it's only a couple of weeks since I last clean it. Look how filthy it gets in the Scottish winter. Yuck. Okay, so as before, give it a coating with water, which to be perfectly honest, I could have used the the, uh, the jet washer for, never thought of that. Anyway, <laughs> coating of water, cover it in muck off, agitate all that so you get a nice soapy covering. And now the moment of truth, let's try the new HydraShot jet washer, see if we have better luck this time.
Well, I'm delighted to say that is very impressive. What a difference from the last one. The water comes blasting out of that. Now that's the bike basically hosed down and I've used, well, maybe not even two thirds of the water in the bucket. Very nice. So, if you live in a flat and you don't have access to mains pressure or, electric or electrical power, the Works HydroShot, I would certainly recommend that. What a great bit of kit, ideal. That's it guys, gonna give the bike a clean down now just to wipe over, buff it up and that's it. Thanks for watching, cheers now.